Okay, so Starfield. Everyone's playing it right now. Everyone is talking about it. But you may be put off by the price. That is $70 just for the basic standard version. And everyone I know loves Steam, wants to have the version of Steam, but not at that price. There is one way around it, and that is the Xbox Game Pass, which is roughly around $10 or $7.99 British pounds. Of course, you won't get the digital premium edition by doing that, but that's just filler. I mean, if we just look in here right now, that's ooh, an upgrade. Okay, upgrade version. Don't know why you'd necessarily upgrade. Okay, so it basically gives you tracks that you can play outside of the game. I don't know who actually listens to that stuff. You know, you just go to YouTube and find out where someone else has already uploaded it if you really would like to listen to the soundtrack. So, how do we get the Game Pass? Well, you get the Xbox app, which you probably have already installed as bloatware on your computer if you have Windows. And here we are, you can see Game Pass at the top here comes with all uh, various games with which they do rotate it out, hence why ownership of games is still vastly superior. Although, as some of you may be aware, Microsoft did buy Bethesda Studios a few years ago, and uh, so it's not likely to come off of the store anytime soon, since they pretty much own that property now. As you can see, here's the leaving soon stuff, and there's Starfield. So we click on Starfield, you can see 70 pounds, huge amount of money. That may or may not even include VAT, but you can play with the Game Pass, which is, in my case here, 7.99 British pounds, or as I quoted previously, 9.99 USD. Which is super simple, you click join, you pay the, your monies, and you're on your way. So that is how you can play right now Starfield for cheaper. And of course, it is hit and miss. Not everyone is loving this game, there's bugs, which is to be expected. Uh, one of the key things someone has highlighted to me that the space combat really is lacking, but that's not really the core game focus even though it is technically a space game. But everyone loves planet exploration. But that's how you do it. Game Pass.